A devastating plant disease called Wong Long Bing is threatening California's beloved citrus trees. The disease, also known as HLB, is caused by bacteria that can be spread through a pest called the Asian citrus psyllid. HLB will kill every citrus tree it infects and has already been found in parts of California. Agriculture crews are hard at work inspecting and sampling backyard and commercial citrus trees to test for this threatening plant disease. After crews collect sample Asian citrus psyllids and leaves from the citrus tree, they are sent to the California Department of Food and Agriculture's laboratory, where they undergo a rigorous scientific process called the PCR method. This method copies and amplifies small portions of bacterial DNA in order to detect specific strains of bacteria that cause HLB. Currently, the PCR method is federally recognized as the most sensitive and reliable way to determine if a citrus tree is infected with HLB. There are multiple stages in the PCR testing process. Once the samples arrive at the lab, they're logged to make sure all samples stay associated with the property where they were collected. The first stop for samples is the preparation room. Here, lab technicians remove all material from the sample except for the leaf middle rib and the leaf stalk, which have the highest concentration of bacterial DNA. The technician then finally chops the remaining materials and places them into tubes to be freeze-dried. To prevent cross-contamination, technicians use hooded workstations, change gloves, and clean their workstation between handling each sample. Next, the plant samples are sent to the DNA extraction room. A small, dense bead is placed in every sample tube to help crush the materials into even tinier particles. Samples are then placed in the robotic liquid handler, which heats up the samples and separates unwanted materials from the DNA associated with the sample. The samples are now ready to be moved to the molecular biology room. Technicians create a master mix or a recipe of various chemical ingredients, which once combined with the samples will help amplify the targeted bacterial DNA during the PCR test. The master mix includes fluorescent probes, which assist with detecting the bacteria that causes HLB. The last stop for the sample is the PCR testing room. Samples are placed in a machine that repetitively heats and cools them creating millions of copies of the target DNA. This helps the machine measure intensity of fluorescence, which signals the presence of the bacteria that causes HLB. The faster the machine detects fluorescence, the more likely a sample is positive for the bacteria that causes HLB. If the sample tests positive, it's processed again to confirm the results. Results are then affixed to the original document the sample arrived with in order to accurately track its origin. All citrus trees confirmed to be HLB positive are immediately removed and destroyed in accordance with California law. This intricate scientific process is repeated 10,000 times a month at the California Department of Food and Agriculture's lab to find and eradicate HLB from California. This is just one way agriculture officials and scientists are doing their part to prevent the spread of HLB. But we must all work together to preserve California's citrus heritage and commercial citrus jobs. To learn how you can help, visit CaliforniaCitrusThreat.org.